everyone, this is the Bashona Nerd, and welcome to the first bonus video of uh, Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. This is uh, gonna be covering all the racetracks in the game, so I uh, hope you like this. Um, anyway, um, so anyway, as you can see here, we have three modes Grand Prix, I believe, go through all the uh, tracks, and then Match Race, you have uh, you select a different track and race against somebody else. Time attack, uh, basically just go against your own time, and you can see here, you have two item boxes right here, you can play a game with or without special items, um, we'll go into those in a little bit more detail in the, further in the video, so, alright, so, here we go, and we, uh, pick out a character for ourselves, um, that just is pretty cool, so I think I'll pick him out. So here we have the first level, this is Azure Lake, it's very green hillish. Uh, now, normally the route you would take if you were to do that, go over here, over there. But what I like to do is, there's a little trick I used to cut time, and as you, as you can see there, you don't even need to do any of that, so. Also, you can see I got the first uh, one of the power ups, Lead Foot, and Collect Rings. Uh, I believe uh, that one, like, little arrow thing gets rid of any bad things like the flood I got. Uh, Ring protects you from bombs, you'll see those later. Bombs? And as you can see here, uh, for some reason the water's like quicksand. You can jump out of it if you're uh, careful, so it's really weird. So anyway, yeah, like I said, this shortcut here can save you a lot of time. I'm not going for the fastest time here, so um, I'm just going to show you basically all about the uh, different tracks and stuff, so... And as you see, it's five laps, then you get to the finish. Alright, this is the Balloon Park zone. A little more uh, complicated than the last one, but not by much. Just go on these balloons here. Pretty short. And I believe somewhere around there you see all the power-ups, so... Here, hmm, I haven't shown up yet. Weird. Anyway. Oh! Here we have speed shoes, uh, kinda like in the main part of the game. Uh, those pretty much speed you up, so. Let's see, and still. Lead feet there. I like to call them lead feet because, uh, maybe they're stone feet, I don't know, it's gray, so, you know, gray's color is stone. Um, here's my favorite track over here. This is the Chrome Gadget, so it's pretty cool. Um, interesting thing, if you actually go down all the way to the bottom of this level and stuff, uh, there's actually a part where the background cuts off, but uh, you don't notice that in a normal game, so... Um, anyway, as you can see, it's got a lot of screens and bumpers and stuff. So there's that little platform. I want to avoid doing... I want to avoid going under there, so if you're too quick, you might end up, like, having, like, dying and, like, starting to level over, if I can show that off real quick. Uh, yeah, I can't now. And of course, it's got those things over here. Got this switch here, too. Uh, that turns that thing around, so it's got, like, four modes. So... Um, I'm gonna show the other one here. As you can see, the spring's up now and it'll send anybody back, so it's a good way to have your opponent and stuff. Um, but I thought it was a pretty cool level here. Alright, now we have the Desert Palace here, which is, has a pretty cool track to it. Um, anyway, like like I said, there's a, sh or, there's a shortcut there, too. Um, that switch over there, I think, has something to do with the, uh, bar of sand over there, so... Yeah, or... Hold on a moment. Yep. Brings it down. But I don't know what the switch does, I can't remember. It's been such a long time since I did these race courses and stuff, so... Oh, there's a screen over there, I bet that's what it triggers. Alright. Yeah, must probably send that up. I'm gonna go and see that right now. Yep. If your opponent is too close behind you, you can always do that and send them back. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so, so far... Oh! There they are, right there. Okay, you have this 
bomb right here, set that off, it goes around the course, and you have the banana right there, which is pretty much slip and lose control. And if you run into the bomb, if you don't have a rain, you end up dying and having to start over from the, uh, from the, uh, gold post, which is right there. Um, and here's the final level, the Endless Mines, um... Of course, there's a certain number of shortcuts you can take here, too, so... Uh, that wasn't one of them. I, I can't remember what I did, but there was actually a pretty cool way to save time in this level, and that's not one of them. Um, of course, you can also do that. Try to avoid, uh... Yeah, that's actually a lot quicker there. And, uh, actually going around the whole loop. Um, Alright, lose a little speed there and just bump your head on the top of that thing. Jump over there. Oh, and we have springs too. I uh, can't remember what those do. I'm gonna try one of these real quick. I think they just like. Hmm. Weird. Didn't even do anything that time. Alright. So, yeah, that's basically the Grand Prix for ya. Um, and what it does is, the winner, I believe, uh, actually, I don't know who wins usually, but, anyway, I, th I think it has to do with the total time, so, um, yeah, this has been the race courses, thanks for watching, I'll, uh, post the other ones up soon.